Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to another video and as you guys know I love traveling and I'm a really big fan of traveling and I love with visiting other, other cultures and exploring other cultures so today let's take a history lesson and learn about the life and teachings of Buddha anyways let's start the life and teachings of Buddha Buddhism is one of the world's greatest religions and has had a particularly important effect on the Asian way of life Buddha whose original name was Gautama, was an Indian Hindu prince. He lived a life great with great luxury, but his father never allowed him to leave the royal palace. When he was 29, he set foot outside the palace for the first time. He saw very old people, some on the verge of death, along with much poverty and grief. He began to wonder why he enjoyed so many pleasures while others suffered so badly. He left his wife and son for six years and wandered about northern India as a ragged beggar, searching for the answer. When he did not find it, he became harsher with himself until he almost died of, star of starvation and exhaustion. But even this produced no answer. He had possessed great wealth and power, and in, and in contrast, he had been extremely poor and had suffered great pain. But none of these has given him the answer to why there is suffering in this world. Gautama then sat under a tree and vowed that he would not move until he knew the cause. At the end of the week, Gautama realized the truth. People suffered because they wanted things like money, power and goods. If they could get rid of this desire, they would be happy because they would be content with what little they had. Now that he knew the answer to what he had long searched for, his followers call him Buddha or the Enlightening One, the one who has found the truth. Until his death 40 years later, Gautama wandered about India teaching people what he believed was the truth. Many disciples, rich, poor, men, women, princes and peasants gathered about him and helped him spread his ideas. Buddha's teachings Buddha explained why often good people suffered pain, poverty and misfortune while wicked people prospered by arguing that they were being punished or rewarded for how they had been uh, for how they had lived in their previous life he said that when people die their spirits were reborn into another living creature depending depending on how they had behaved in their previous lives a person who had been good in one life might be reborn richer or in a better position someone who had been bad would be reborn in a poorer position or even as an animal or insect because of this, followers of Buddha would never eat meat because it might be home to a temporary human spirit. This cycle of rebirth would continue, said Buddha, until the person learned to stop wanting through meditation and prayer. People could destroy desire and escape into a state of eternal happiness called Nirvana, from which they could never be reborn again. The Eightfold Noble Path to reach this state, Buddha said that people would follow the eight set of rules, which he called the Noble Paths. The first three were about how people behaved in their everyday life with others. They should live peacefully with each other and not lie, quarrel, cheat or harm anyone or anything. Quarrels should only be settled by discussion. All people, men, women, kings, peasants, rich and poor are equal. Love and forgiveness should rule everyone's heart. Although Hindus had similar beliefs about rebirth, the Brahmins and Kishtaras bitterly opposed Buddha's teachings about equality. They felt that they were far better than everybody else because they belonged to a higher caste. The other five paths were concerned with thinking and with medita meditation to help people understand the inner truths of Buddhism. Only when people reach uh, only when people understand these, they reach nirvana. Meditation is difficult for, more pe for most people. However, however well they behave, they cannot put in the time that is needed for proper meditation. Prayer and meditation is largely left to the monks as a result. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, in today's video, we learned about the teachings of Buddha and how they used the eight noble paths and we learned a bit of the rules of course and the rules were about basically the right actions speech behavior and thoughts 
and we also learned about the cycle of life anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and the next chapter of this will be coming on on monday which will be about the rise and fall of buddhism in india and make sure to join me if you're interested and especially the students of grade 6 can join me anyways i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one